everybody, I'm sitting here with Dr. Fitness USA himself and today we're going to talk about back pain. Back pain is a recurring problem that 80% of North Americans have. So back pain in a sense is one of those magical things that come up out of nowhere. It's like the ghost behind you. So life is rock and rolling and then one day you get up and you have a back pain. The immediate reaction is panic sets in. Oh my God, I have a back pain. So you take some ibuprofen or some supplement and you hope that the pain is just going to disappear. But of course it doesn't. And then your mind is searching endlessly. Well, did I sleep incorrectly? Oh, I must have pulled a muscle. Reaching for something that I was not used to. So with the panic creates an avenue of finding a solution so you can continue your day without interruption. So there's two things that come in mind. You can seek out a, a massage therapist. You can seek out an acupuncturist, but more often than not, people think, oh, I, I, there must be something out of place in my back, which we call vertebrae. So we wind up at a chiropractor's office, but you don't know what the chiropractor's function is. The chiropractor's function is basically to put your body into alignment. He's still gonna sell you on treatments telling you that showing up will relieve self-limitations and all of a sudden your posture will magically revert back to its natural position. So remember, a chiropractor establishes mechanical function. He's going to give you some stretch exercises, he's going to put you on a lower type of table perhaps, and which boosts the spine. He's going to show you an x-ray that's going to scare the GBs out of you. But he's not going to tell you about step two. Step two is to actually strengthen the muscles that hold your posture in place. So the first step is to actually go to a physical gym that has the proper equipment to address what's going on with your body. But you need a roadmap. If you were going on a trip, you Google a direction of what would be the best avenue of success or a time restraint. When you go to the gym, you're like a fish out of water. You've got $500,000 worth of equipment. You've got personal trainers. You've got friends telling you what to do, but you don't know really what to do so that the exercise really addresses the problem of posture. A question that would come up in hearing your conversation is, yes, but I have a backache. I have a spasm. Now, you are telling me to go to the gym and lift weight. Don't you understand? I'm in pain. That is most people's first reaction. So how do you overcome this objection? I agree with you. Ignorance is uh, not a bliss. So you're thinking staying in bed, resting, will take away the back pain. No, your muscles will atrophiate even more and the back pain will persist. Here's an analogy. You have a car and you've been in an accident and the frame is bent. So you go to a mechanic or your garage and he repaints the car, but he didn't fix the frame. So. When your vertebrae go out of place or you experience a back pain, when you go to the gym, there are tools or equipment that can actually pull your body back into proper alignment. So you need a business plan and you need a script and you need a sequence and a rhythm 